everybody, how are you? This is Liz and welcome to my Patreon. So today, as I promised you, I wanted to do a video about my favorite bags that I have. So there are so many, I realized that there were too many. And I also decided last week to take all of my stash to the studio and practically to empty the craft room. It's like really most of my books is the only thing that stayed with me. And this box and that basket of whips. Well, they're not, well, it's either whips or whips to be. It just, the project bags that I know uh, what I want to do and the yarn is inside. And uh, so those are leaving here with me in the house. So, you know, I can focus on actually commit to make them. Um, of course, that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna go, oh my God, this is a cute pattern and I'm not gonna go, uh, you know, searching in my stash and grabbing the yarn from there. Uh, I will definitely do that. It's just that um, if I finished uh, something and I'm in the house and I don't have ex having something else, but I always do have something else that I'm working in, I'm just gonna get through to those bags and just start something. Good plan? No. I think it's a good idea because I know that I want those. I really do. So actually, the kind is looking at me and I don't know why she's like, she's like crying and I'm like, what? Bella, come, the kind, Bella, come. Okay, I don't know. It's okay. We just came from the vet and I have, yeah, sad news. She needs again surgery and I'm... I'm trying not to say devastated, but I'm really, really sad because since November she had already three surgeries and now she needs a fourth one and it's just really difficult for me to cope with that. But I'm staying positive and it's okay. It's, it's something that needs to be done. It's not that urgent, but I really do hope that we can have it sorted out by end of the month, uh, beginning of uh, of uh, June, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, let's let's start though. No, I think I should start. Okay, so uh, let's start with this one. So this is a hide and hammer bag. I'm not sure if I have already shown it to you. So this bag, I really like it because it's. Actually, kind of like a lunch bag, right? Like that. And then the closure, it's really cool, but I have lost my little clasp, but it's okay because even if it's lost, like, uh, I'm just doing this and it's cute as, uh, yeah, it's really cute. Uh, so this is Hide and Hammer. I have taken, I remember I wanted a yellow one but when I saw them in a festival in Dublin last year, um, they had only this color waxed. And guys, ladies, I just... There's something about waxed canvas, waxed, waxed, no, waxed, right? Yeah, waxed canvas, that I adore. It's just more soft. It's you know what i love i love to use the word sexy for something beautiful and soft and luscious and this bag is it is sexy because it has you know this leather feeling of it and it's not leather and i'm not how can i say that without you thinking that i'm a crazy people that i like you know leather it's just that leather has this subtlety and softness and it's you know and it's I don't know it's just a very very appealing I think that's the word and then there are other thicker leathers that are a bit you know not soft at all and you know 
and they feel actually really rough but this is the best because it's not leather so we're saving the animals yeah so it's canvas but it's flax and you guys i love it and it actually protects the canvas so i'm just looking here that my bag has changed color here i have no idea what happened and you know what uh i don't care i'm a person that really doesn't care and you'll see that in the little tears you know where the wax is it has you know you can see where it got you know scratched or but i find it even more beautiful and more unique you know as the bag grows so it has marks on it kind of a bit like us you know so hide and hammer so the next one this one is amazing because it's um I don't remember how to pronounce Nanit Studio, Nanit Studio. Anyways, I'm gonna write it down. And she's an amazing weaver. And this is actually yarn she bought from me and she made the bag. And this is, I will show it like this. Yeah, here you can see better. So this is, do you trust me? The colorway, do you trust me? And I, adore this bag it's really roomy i have a sweater inside and it's just amazing and because it is weaved it is like i don't know if you're a weaver or if you know how the process of weaving is you can appreciate you know the patience and the craftsmanship she has a lot lots of them in lots of colors and they're really really cool you should totally uh, check them out and I love that the pins in this bag really, you know, just sit there. The, I, I think it's just the only bag that I haven't lost a pin. And that's why it's the almost the only bag I think that has a pin. So it's really roomy. It has, yeah, Nanit Wake, Nanit Wake Studio. And it has a little pocket inside and the lining is just perfect. I adore it. And I also really like the little charm that it has here. I have added um, a stitch marker from Perth Festival of Yarn, just in case I need one. Um, then um, I love this little bag, but it's uh, just a lady from Fibershire that she was my partner in Fibershire that she did this for me. And I have socks in there i just like like it because it's small and cute uh but i don't think she sells bags it's just something that she did for me and i find i find it really cute and i love it um then of course one of my favorites oh i have two of her bags but i think i have only the big one here i've already shown you this uh because i showed you last week no, two weeks ago, the, um, the project that I'm thinking of doing. So this is Margeva. She's French, she's awesome, she's so cute. And she, uh, and I had, we had exchanged a bag with some yarns in a festival. And it was the first time that I got to know, you know, that she was making bags because I, I know she's a fabulous sewer. And um, I proposed to her, you know, let if you could make me some bags. And uh, while using mine, I really adored it. But because I like larger bags, I asked her for if it was possible to make it uh, just a bit, you know, larger and just a bit uh, higher. But I didn't want it really high. So that's what with what she came up. And she actually sent me this one as a surprise. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the prototype or not, but I really like it and I like that she stitched handmade and trillies so it's like personalized and it's it's actually reversible so I'm gonna take off the yarn that I have inside and it's yeah it is reversible you can have the two pockets that before were inside you can have them outside it's just that you won't have the big handle outside and you'll have just, you know, this little bit 
that you can put you know stitch markers or whatever you want but because I like them actually both ways but I'm really a big fan of this you know colored little splashes of colors of course because you know guys I'm not sure if you've heard but color is power yeah yes it is yes I'm telling you color is power <laughs> okay then I have this from Greta of the Fibers. She's a dyer and she's based in Spain. And she had some tote bags that she couldn't sell. And then she asked someone uh, to make, you know, like project bags. And I think they did a great job with them. It's really big and it's just really cool. I love the idea. Awesome. I haven't really used it. My project is laying there, but I like the idea of it really. So then these guys, you probably know them because they have their bags in big stores that are really known like Stephen and Penelope and La Bien Aimée and it's, oh, whoa, Amsterdam, yes. And I have two, um, two pins that I bought from Stephen and Penelope. Of course, I had to have the West Knits are the best knits and the Brioche, it's up pop because come on, we have so many pins for cats, but not so much for dogs. And there are dog people who are knitters too, you know. And this bag, I got it when I was in Amsterdam last year and I visited Stephen and Penelope and I wanted to have a bag from them because I found them really cute and simple and I love that they actually you know paint on the canvas so yeah probably nobody else has the same and that's cute I love that I'm all about unique things you know even if it's like something simple because for example I know a lot of people love the fringe bag and yeah probably it's amazing but for me it doesn't really make sense because it's just very simple you know I love that it's simple and minimal but for me I would prefer something a bit more unique like at some point the fringe bags they had um, an edition that the, the, the fabric was indigo painted oh my god I wanted one of those so bad uh, like I would get them if I had the possibility just like immediately but unfortunately they were sold out and it's okay at some point they might do you know another um, edition like that but for me a one color uh, bag it's like a one color bag it's okay you're gonna tell me that this is also a one color bag yeah but there's a bit more of craftsmanship you know and detail and thought of it and yeah so I, I I have nothing against anyone guys I don't want you to for you to take it bad if you have fringe bags it's great it's awesome but I, I thought about it because this actually reminds you know of a fringe bag but I love the idea you know that it's colored or painted somehow and I love the stitching here you know that it's visible and you know they picked up this accordingly to the paint and it has a bit more of thought behind it but, yeah th th but that's just my opinion okay uh, maybe at some point I'll get the fringe bag and I'll change totally my opinion of them because I haven't used one so maybe if I get one at some point or if some you know as a gift or whatever um, maybe I'll find them like super practical and then I'll be just I'm done with those bags you know I just want them everything to be fringed uh, fringed Ooh, a fringe bag who has a fringe like actually why well, haven't done that they should right like come on so okay so then another bag that I really liked uh, it's from uh, Buku Buku um, uh, she's uh, I don't remember where she is from so I'm sorry I'm not gonna say anything stupid but I've always wanted to buy one online and it 
was like impossible like it's either sold out immediately or it was too expensive the shipping or there's always something so I saw her in Montreal and I got that bag and it's actually a cute bag you know that I could actually use you know as a purse so it's funny and the the lining is really simple it has two uh, pockets but I love again that this is printed by her and I love that it is so unique so nice and really for me it's like amazing I love that the kind why are you crying Ella come actually I've changed so much this room and now uh I don't know why isn't she she's I think she's scared because there's a big yoga ball next to the entrance and she's like should I push it or not so she's just staying there and like crying for attention yeah <laughs> so then this of course is the matching bag of my needle piece um, organizer I have no idea I like it because of the color otherwise it's just a simple draw uh, you know draw back and then I really like this romantic feel of this little pouch because it's echo printed and I love the maker who is Tatiana from OS Open Studio 79 and she will be actually a teacher at the Knit Stars the newest edition so I haven't subscribed to that because it's a bit expensive but i have to say that having tatiana there i'm really really thinking about it maybe at some point if i can spare the you know the expense but um yeah she's an amazing person and beautiful things she creates amazing things a beautiful dyer and natural dyer like really really cool and yeah that's just it i also had an other bag but i can't see it now so just give me a second okay so i said i have another one and then i came back with i don't know like many of them but i'm just uh gonna quickly show again that one that i showed uh, two weeks ago uh, and I really like it because it's super big and I think it's gonna be fun to have uh, my sweater when I'm gonna start it uh, of course mrs. brown bags I have a basket and it's really cute um, and then I really really like this one look there's beans I've already shown this one because I had some socks a while ago and this is from Petite Mouten. She has several colors with a cute little print. I think she's the one um, designing them. And uh, totally that one that I've no idea what's the name and there's no, there is no um, label, but I got this one in Berlin. The fabric is amazing and it's so sturdy. I adore it. My Marred Magic sweater lived in here for a while and it's really, really super sturdy and super cute. Like, look how cute it is. Come on. I'm gonna try to find the name. Yeah, maybe Instagram might help me with that. Uh, yeah, because otherwise I have no idea. I don't remember. And then... Uh, uh, I also love my twill and print bag. I have a red one, but I have it in the car because I moved some things. So I'm really sorry, but at some point I'm going to show it to you. That's for sure. And okay, if I have to pick from all of these, because I have like a bit of others, I will also show you that one, which is by Sandbags, if I'm correct. And I adore these sardine themes of, you know, like sardine cans of the fabric. And I adore the peculiar shape. I find it really very original 
and it's really cool. It's super cute. Oh, and here there's a marker. I love knitting. I didn't even had seen that. So yeah, and I remember I liked also the inside fabric. Look how perfect it is. Yes, sandbags. It is right. I know, I know, I love, I'm a sucker for cute, uh, you know, prints and bags and, you know, I'm, I, I really like them. So, yeah, um, so I'm sorry if uh, I wanted to do this uh, little uh, video uh, earlier this week, but I got into moving all my things to the studio and trying to make the studio, you know, just more efficient, nicer. And I'm trying to really work in the showroom area that uh, of the studio because I needed slowly to look for it to look nicer, just you know, for for me also, you know, to be more happy to be there, and um, so people might visit, or for me to have open days or create small events, like I would love that. Unfortunately, I've been very behind my schedule because I wanted it to be ready uh, until now. But unfortunately, I've had lots of, you know, um, personal matters and the kind surgeries, you know, everything got behind. And then at some point I had a bit of spare money and now they're all into, you know, taxes because of the situations that we were you know this couple of months so i couldn't do a lot of things and orders you know haven't been great and i couldn't go to festivals but it's okay i'm um, i'm managing i'm here and uh you know the kind now's health is a priority but um at least i took a lot of plants and i did some gardening and that lifted up my spirits and the mood at the studio and I'm now thinking you know I want shelves to display the plants cutely and I need shelves to have the other half of the yarn displayed you know at least like a basic display but you know so I don't have any more boxes in the floor just that but it's okay I'm getting there and it's gonna be great um yeah i think uh and yet again either you know even if that kind was all right like you know most stores are aren't open to get furniture and i'm gonna try to find also some secondhand furniture and have a mix and match and try to you know um have this kind of vibe uh but yeah it's definitely a work of uh, in progress but um, it needs patience like all the things and I think you know it's gonna be there so I was thinking uh, about the Patreon before I was trying to do two videos per week uh, now I'm gonna try to have a video per week either you know uh, what I'm uh, creating as you know as a knitter and another you know just uh, you know the colorways or talk about the shop and stuff like that and uh, there were also because last week I asked you if you wanted something for me to talk about either my yoga and everything and uh, there was a positive uh, reaction to that so I'm gonna try to to think about you know what I can talk about uh, you know yoga and etc or well I say yoga but I also do other things or other kinds of um, exercises but I just incorporate them in my yoga practice um, I'm not a yogic teacher I'm never gonna um, say that what I'm doing is like the best thing and you have to do it in a way you have to just try and explore what feels right for you and I'm gonna be talking more about this and I also have um, the idea because of yoga and yoga is something that it's not just the physical part it's also about breathing exercises, meditation exercises and also when you talk about these kind of things 
there's also a talk about chakras and chakras are actually energetic um, vertexes in our body we have lots of them but the seven basic ones are in our spine and each of them has a different color so i was thinking of maybe talk about more about the color and because you know color is power i thought that maybe it would be also a nice opportunity to also talk about the healing um uh you know the healing properties of colors and you know a bit more about them so i'm not sure how this is gonna be i'm just gonna go with the flow and depending you know if i have to show you lots of knitting i will show you more of my knitting if i have more of um uh, you know, uh, business new colorways or giveaways to show you or new patterns that maybe have a test need coming on and it will just be in the flow, okay? I don't want to force it because I think, you know, life forces us to do things in such a restrictive way that I don't want that. I want this... Uh, I want for me to be able to work and share with you how I work and yes there are priorities like for example you know getting the um, to the post office the the orders getting things ready for festivals or stuff like that uh, responding to emails and all of that it's just great but I think it needs also to be organic you know and to feel the organic Trillies experience. Oh my god, this actually sounds, you know, really fun but also scary at the same time, but it's okay. We're gonna make it, okay? So yeah, so that was my love of bags. I have more, like I have several little ones that are cute and yeah, and this is, this was, um, a gift from by night I love you Natalie and I haven't yet used it and but I'm gonna use it and another favorite is this one that I haven't used but I just love the fabric and I love how amazingly aligned it is and yeah like so many bags and this is just a portion that I kept at home yeah I guess we're living in a material world and I am a material girl oh no <laughs> okay so that was it um your um maybe half an hour 20 minutes at least and uh, i hope you enjoyed it if you have favorite bags please share them i really like a good bag as you've seen and it will be great, you know, to exchange views. Or if you have one of these bags, what do you like about them? And what don't you not, you know, <laughs> what you dislike? I'll be happy to know. Kisses, take care. And don't forget the sock along is up until the 16th of May. And come and share in uh, the, um, in the leak uh, of, um, oh, what's the name of the app? Damn it, Slack. Come on, Liz. You know, you're using it. Okay, so yeah, just, you know, come in Slack if you haven't come yet and just share your picture of your sock. And I'm going to be so thrilled to see it. I'm very excited. I'm very pumped. I've, uh, I'm have i just about to bind off my second sock and then doing the afterthought heels. So yes, I'm going to be done my second pair and I can't believe it I think we're gonna do a bit more often some sock alongs you know from time to time I think it's the good push to make us create the second sock right yes okay so see you next week bye